Well, this right here is my new radiator and my fan for that same dark. I'm gonna get a new radiator clamp because I don't like that being all rusty. But the other thing is, I usually drill one eighth holes in my radiators so they can always flow. So most cars, when you try to drain the water back in there, they're not gonna drain because it's blocked because it's cold and it's closed. But on mine, I got them holes so the water gonna drain all out through the engine instead of vapor locking. So that's good to go. Okay, these are some compression fittings somebody put on here to kind of make this work. So I'm glad I went and got the fittings off the other radiator because these new hoses that are right here would have not fit on these fittings and I would have been going searching for fittings. So we're gonna sort that out. We're gonna have a new radiator in there with the right fittings. And now let's try to get the fittings off the radiator. The ground is uh, pretty wet. So if you uh, got tar paper, that works pretty good for laying on the ground. It's fairly waterproof, so that's nice. And then what I'm getting, trying to get to are these uh, bottom hose clamps. There's going to be three of them. That's for the uh, thing. And I'm going to cut this, try to make it so that's not so S-curved. Fix that. And that one will work. Well... I put two clamps on there and that really cooked on there. I haven't been able to get that off. I put one clamp there and that was cooked on there too. So what always happens is you struggle and struggle to that. I already cut that once to fit. I may just go up to AutoZone and spend another 15 bucks. Because now that that's all wallered out, the seal is not going to be very good on it. So I may just go get another one for 15 bucks because I'm going to get new O-rings new hose so the next thing is going to leak out this transmission fluid out of those get my finger out of the way out of those lines right there so i need to get another bucket to get those loose and then i still got the four screws which on this car is really simple and only got four and four for the fan shroud pretty simple deal but it's still taking a lot of time know if you can see the hole right there that's what I'm talking about I drill them little holes in there that lets this thing be able to burp a little bit so the fluid will go through it regardless even if that gets frozen shut some fluid will flow through there instead of it just pressuring up to ungodly amount and I was kind of thinking about cleaning this up it's pretty nasty oily and uh not real thrilled about how gross that is. Maybe I'll get a new one. I don't know. I'll think about it. I like it to be nice, not all rusty and gross. So, we'll see. Man, it's not good to leave this out where your pets can get to it. The best place to put something like that is in the trunk. So, I'm going to go open the trunk, stick this in the trunk right now. Well, before I undo the uh, oil hose, I wanted to get in here and get some of this dirt off with the water hose and kind of clean this with a rag. So that's what I'm going to do next because I want to clean this up. It's pretty disgusting. So we're going to get the water hose over here and we'll clean this up. And then we'll let it dry and come back and finish this because i got some other projects to do today anyways. don't really have time to... If I have problems with getting new connectors or those don't fit in the new radiator, we're going to have to find some adapters with the uh, hose connectors. Okay, well, got all the mud daubers off, kind of dried it up with a rag, dried up all these little nooks. Uh, I'm probably going to, when I take that carb off, I'm going to put another coat of silver paint. Those uh, valve covers, I painted them silver. They're looking pretty good still. Got one little speck of rust coming through, but that's pretty good for two years sitting out here in the weather. And you can see that this aluminum, if you don't put paint on it, 
it'll corrode so I'm not sure if that was a used intake or a new intake but uh kind of like all this was brand new aluminum that I had painted silver and it is already corroding under the silver paint so we'll squirt that all with new paint when I get it together get it looking pretty again and we'll figure out or I will figure out what to do with uh, all of that I'd kind of like to paint it a gloss get in there and sand it and clean it up I'll probably do that too because this is kind of the way I am about stuff and if you see this was all rotten I can't no you can't see that because it's blended in but I tacked I cut this and welded on the inside a strip to put the uh, thing it was all rotten out this was all rotten out so this car was about to go to the junkyard so that's why I put the other 72 front trunk was crashed so we're kind of saving this car so uh, that's looking pretty good again we'll get that uh, once it dries next couple days kind of busy with other stuff so I'll come back to it all right the new one's giving me some fit I got the lines in there I'm not sure if they're hundred percent where they need to be but this one here will not line up so I'm gonna have to expand those holes a little bit so I'm gonna take that back out not get too carried away I'm gonna finish for tonight it's getting going sunlight so I've had as much fun as I could have we got the old lines out and the new lines kind of in there so uh, we'll work on that maybe tomorrow evening and I think I'd like to have a new riser on there but I don't know maybe not just put the old one back on cover that up all right looks fairly square don't look too square right here but well, ain't nothing I did it's just the welding of how they welded this bracket that one's more flush that one sticks out but all four bolts are connected got the ground here got the bolt down there two on this side so now we're going to get a new radiator bottom radiator hose because that one was pretty nasty but I'm going to try to hook these lines up next see if I can get them connected okay when I crawled up underneath here I could see that I was totally bending it looked like I was bending it the right way it's still loose but I didn't want a superman tight in it until I can it's just too dark so I'm giving up but I got them on there for tonight so won't be uh getting water and stuff in them overnight there so it's a good stopping point I'm gonna go get this radiator hose see if my other old one fits Oh, Shazam! Okay, I got some silver paint on there. Painted some stuff black. Painted that silver. My goal is to put these uh, radiator hose. The old one, I was kind of leery about using it. Then had a pretty rough, tight, kind of wobbled out. I'm sure it would have been fine. But have to custom cut it. This space in here just quite not enough space i bought this one originally that was my first one and i just trimmed it going crazy i ended up trimming way too much of it off so this new one that i bought i tried to match it up pretty good might be a little long but i want to try it before i i cut off about a quarter of an inch the top one i think is the same way where i had cut some off because it's just a uh, different size radiator so we'll inspect that maybe trim that one off too okay ended up cutting maybe half inch three quarter but that looks really good it's nice and square it's not sitting all goofy on there so I can put the new hose clamps on that one so I guess my next uh, big adventure will be putting the top one on all right, there's no real way for me to replicate that but what happens is if you push this on here 
and put this into position. One thing that I don't want it doing is touching any of this stuff. I want to have room. And that's really not that bad, but I want it just to pull forward just a little bit to get it away from those springs. I don't really need to, but I like to have it pulled away like that. So I think that quarter of an inch is just about what I need. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll just put this with the other dart radiator and stuff. So if we build another one, we'll have some extras just to build. It's always nice to have some builder stuff and then replace it with some good stuff after you know it runs. So, all right, we're going to put the hose clamps on. I still got to go get some quarter inch pieces for this fan shroud. So I'll do that. Tighten up the blade, put the liquids in there. Still want to do the fuel lines. We're going to do them for sure. Those have been sitting rotten for a couple years. So we're going to get some new ones on there before we fire this back up. And I'm thinking we're going to have to replumb all this stuff for the car, but we'll figure that out. All right, I recycled all my fluid. I had the can. I got a little paint strainer. Strained all that fluid. It was perfectly good fluid. Not really been used. Been sitting in the car for a couple years, but the car's never even ran. So, uh, Also, I wanted to say that filling this up is easy because I put the holes in that... Uh, radiator temperature thermostat so that allows the fluid to breathe in the engine block and be able to fill up the entire engine block i don't have to worry about it uh topping it off a couple times and checking it i know with those little breather holes that that fill up all that so that should be good to go gotta get my uh fan shroud hooked up get this thing hooked up and then we'll work on putting the new carburetor on. That'll be fun. I'd like to try to get a better canister. This is pretty ugly. I guess it sits up there out of the way. If I can't find a better looking one, we'll just use this one. But that's yeah, pretty ugly. I'd like to have one that fits in there right. That'd be cool to have the right one. And we got to get the correct battery two or a battery that will fit okay i got my new wires new lines transmission lines i got my car jacked up and it's basically those two lines that have the hoses on them i did some sort of spider and a thing there that i want to stay away from I need to blow them out of the way but I see that there's some strange stuff going on, some transmission, this thing has got some flex lines behind there, the old one, so hopefully we'll only have, maybe cut it and have one of these, oh, he's coming back trying to get me, and the spider right there trying to get me, I'm like really, so let me take care of these, move them out of the way. Got a little clip right there holding those in position so i'm not sure how that's going to work but definitely got to take them out of there maybe if i drop that one out i can get the new line in and out easier not sure why i have all these little protective sleeves on there i'm sure i put them on there for some reason rubbing or something all right i wouldn't have been able to do that without a stubby i was able to work this stubby Behind this little thing, since it's short enough, it can go in there. I was able to pull down and get the party started. So without a stubby, I don't think you can get this out of here. So now I'm going to work that stubby and get that off of there. And then we'll try to get it out. All right, I got my wrench on the tubing, but I can't get my hand up in there. So what I realize is I'm going to have to take off that. And that's like a... Uh, thing that you have to swivel off of it and then you can pick it up out of there but it's pretty hard to do it's rusted on there so you're gonna have to get something solid and push that off 
so it'll swing out of the way and then you'll be able to lift that up out of there so that'd be a good idea let's try that all right let me tell you how fun that was i had to hold it with a half inch and then get the stubby to break loose counterclockwise to get that off of there i want to be kind of i want to do that in the camera but i need to get that dirt off of there i don't want to get any of that in that tubing hole all right that's the old ones there's the new ones i'm going to separate them put them in there not as two together as a bundle that'll be just a nightmare so this is why i was just dreading this job it just went from hard to hard but at least we're getting these old nasty lines out of there and we'll have some brand new ones looks like we put some sort of protective must have been rubbing the frame or something so i put some uh hose over it to protect the lines from getting uh, rubbing a hole in them but anyway looks like both ends had been cut and they had spliced everything together so we're going to try to get those in there as a single unit and not have any splices follow-up video on the radiator i went without the overflow and i just have this dumping right there uh the bolts that was kind of squirrely i had to go get different clips those wouldn't hold so I had to go get four clips to make that work uh, seems like everything is good on the radiator now so I don't really have any uh, the other problem was the I see some oil or something spraying there but uh, what do you call it the uh... alright follow up on this uh, radiator here I had problems getting this to seal this was uh leaking it's not leaking anymore i tightened it up and that looks like that has sealed i was bending and twisting this piece but it looks like everything's clear out of the way not hitting anything there let's go around to the other side this piece under here was leaking kind of hard to tell this don't want to touch that but that piece right there was leaking and it looks like I got that stopped because there's no more leaks on the thing that was kind of a pain the other thing that was really critical was I had to take the clip right here off and reposition it that was a lot of work I had to undo this whole bolt take everything off and pull the bolt out I don't know if I pulled the bolt out but anyway so it could actually clip in there like it should so i think everything's out of the way i think everything's good got clip there i don't think it's hitting anything so i think it's good so that's follow up on that